Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Right, this uh, this video is going to be uh, just to show you um, the sort of abuse uh, or the state that these machines come back in. So I've just picked this up off high. It's been on high for a week. Um, let's just give you an example. Of just look at the dust and mud that's left on the machine. But more to the point, if you look in here, um, you know, that's how they lead the machine. It's just absolutely caked. Um, so what this video is going to be, it's going to be um, basically showing you the before and after. I've got a couple of tiny repairs to do on the machine, which I'll show you. Um, so I'm going to get this off. <clears throat> but the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this conveyor off and strip it right down. So I'm going to show you that because I've got a suspected bearing gone in the bottom roller, which we'll have a look at in a minute. But it'll also give you an insight into the amount of dust and uh, crud that's built up under the conveyor belt and inside the, the mechanism. So it's time to get this completely stripped down, steam cleaned, steam clean the whole machine, um, show you that little repair. It's on an electrical micro switch around the other side. Um, and then, yes, you can see this machine sort of back up into high condition. So, But I wanted to show you the sort of uh, abuse that I, I get from these uh, some of these hirers. Um, at the end of the day, it's not their fault, but uh, I'll say when it comes back uh, like that, um, considering it's been used inside a building as well, it does make you wonder how it's got so uh, caked up. But anyway, so yeah, through the next video we'll see uh, in a minute or two, um, we'll have the conveyor stripped apart and uh, we'll take a look at that. Right, so just taking the belt off, and this is the sort of stuff that gets caught underneath. So it's just one mass of basically brick dust, cement dust, etc. So I'm going to take this belt right off, and uh, once I get the belt off, I can uh, give this all a good steam clean. So that's the next job, and then we'll get this conveyor back together. Okay. You'll see this is all uh, been cleaned now, so we'll just go back to the jaw here. Um, hopefully you can see that's much cleaner in there now. Um, I've cleaned all the stuff off. This, uh, this is an exit hole here, which is basically any dust or stuff that accumulates on top of the curvature plate gets stuck in here that's all been cleaned out um, cleaned all the engine um, so I think it's pretty good as clean as it needs to be anyway uh, um, all the front here all the front here was all caked up so that's all been cleaned out I've cleaned all the tracks out here so um, yeah it does it good to actually take the conveyor off every now and again and clean all this area out so that's done just got to get the conveyor fixed and put on and that'll be uh, greased up ready for hire Right, so the other repair I've just discovered is um, this uh, edge here. It's a rubber flap that stops the material dropping down behind the roller. So I'm going to unbolt this, cut a new one into there, and then I can get the conveyor belt back together. Right, um, yeah, so this bearing's gone, and so is this one. So that's another job I'm going to have to do now. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to just put this uh, existing conveyor belt or get this existing conveyor belt off and uh, fit the other one on. <clears throat> right, so um, to get the old bearing casing out, I've cut a slot in the top of this um, and then I've just chiseled the bearing out. And now I'm just going to reset this, put this bearing in using the bearing press. <clears throat> Actually, I only bought this bearing press for this specific purpose, so it comes into its own. There's just no other way of really doing it. Right, that's 
that side done. <coughs> right, so I just want to show uh, this wear and tear. So this is basically a, a running board that sits on top of the metal conveyor and you'll see it's quite badly worn, it's gone through to the metal there. So ideally I need to fit uh, a new one of these before I put the conveyor on. Um, unfortunately I haven't got any in stock, I've actually got to buy a sheet of this and then cut it up to suit. Um, so I'm going to carry on with this at the moment just to get me out of trouble but you'll also see that this roller, as you can see, probably can't on this camera angle but it's quite badly twisted and that's nothing more than the adjustment is out on this side so um, I've got to adjust that in now get this conveyor bay roller where it should be put the belt on I've um, put the new rubber shroud on there look it's just a bit of an old conveyor belt cut up to go on so that's done um, and then I can get this conveyor belt back together um, Right, so conveyor is back together and uh, all fitted and uh, that seems to be running okay. Just got these two other repairs to do, um, which I should do next on the electrical micro switches. But yeah, conveyor is back together. I've just tightened up the um, uh, adjuster bolts on that end. <coughs> you've got one there. And this one's been tightened and you've got one on the other side of the machine and, and one down the bottom there, one on the other side. So they've all been tightened up now. The belt's running a little bit slack, but that's not a bad thing. Um, if it's too tight and you get a rock or something go in here, um, it's going to stop the belt from turning. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with that repair, so that's good. And, uh, yeah, I'll get on with these electrical switches now.